Good morning, everyone. Happy May, May 1st, Friday. So we're into a new month. It's cloudy here in New York City. I have all my liquids here for painting, water, drink your water. Got my paints over there. Really have to fill some of these wells. I have my paints up on top. Handy here, so no excuses, right? Trying to get these shelves organized. Have my canvas is ready for my oils and acrylics here. Right now, I'm focused on my morning painting. I just received something, it was on Facebook. I couldn't share it, but it was, uh, I don't know why. I'm gonna ask later and see if I could share it. But it was from a friend who said that they, on May 1st, and I don't know if it has to do with San Giuseppe La, La Lavora, a different Saint Giuseppe, I think it's a different than the Father of Christ, the Saint Joseph's and Saint Joseph's Day, because that's a different day. That's in March. But they give them Lily of the Valley flower. I wish I had some here to paint. Maybe I'll sketch it from what she sent. And uh, that they supposedly they give it to people each day as a gift. And it's so beautiful. I love Lily of the Valley. I remember it used to grow in my cousin's yard, which was the original farmhouse in the Bronx. Yes, in the Bronx, a farmhouse that my, my grandfather built and that my cousin, my aunt had, and then my cousin had. And I always had the lily of the valley in the yard. It was so beautiful. I like to look at where each object is in relation to the other, even if I'm not doing an exact, you know, like you could spend hours sketching this or just sketch the same object or type of object and just draw eggs or garlic you know or it's the same thing and you'll see how it'll change each day or each time you draw it or paint it but just for a quick observation i like to see and the relation to where they are i've been bringing everything. I noticed I, I like to leave the edge of the plate, but I've been painting and bringing the subject matter a little lower. It's interesting. I love to buy the tomato on the vine just because they're fun to draw. And living in New York and not going to farmer's markets, it's a little hard to get veggies uh, with the edges of the greenery on them, which is really nice to paint and draw. It makes it interesting subject matter. My radishes come in a bag and I have to shop around. I don't know where. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere except to the local store. So my radishes come in a plastic bag. <laughs> I'm working from my memory. I brought that up before. When you're drawing or painting, there are different ways of drawing. So you could draw from observation, from memory, and from imagination. And when you combine them all together, that gives the artists their own signature, their own style, because everyone's memory and combination of, of the imagination, what they're seeing, their viewpoint, is going to be different from the other person's. So we get everyone's point of view. I hope everyone's doing well. I want to mention keeping a space to work, to do whatever that is, whether you want to exercise or, you know, at home. Some people can go for walks, some people can't get out. Depends on your situation in many different respects. But to have a space to do what's good, whether you're painting, reading, writing a book, have a little space at your own, no matter how big or small your apartment or house may be. And you may have a big house and not have a space of your own in it. So that's so important. Think about it. If you have a big space, do you have a space carved out where you can work? Whatever your practice may be. Do you have a space to go to? Or is it just um, a space, you know, for visitors or... For everyone else, carve a little space for yourself. It could be two feet. It could be four feet. Look at this space. <laughs> so being at home and not running around, you know, you don't have that natural urge maybe to drink as much water. So here's my sketch anyway. But drink your water. I'm down to, I have two more from here. This is the um, postcard paper. And it has that on the back. And I have to get these up on my Shopify. So if, you, if you're on Shopify and you don't see something that I'm either painting or that's on my website, you know, just contact me because unless someone else 
got it before you. It's available for sale. Yes, I'm selling them, trying to keep space going. Still have my studio and my assistants and workers, so keep it all going. It's my little commercial. <laughs> and again, it's Friday, so I have my standing Zoom calls with my friends. I guess we have the travel time out of it, so you could get to more uh, groups <laughs> in an evening than... Well, at least I can. Maybe some of you can run around like that. I was just thinking it's May 1st. I, I love the beginning, you know, the show The Odd Couple. If you can catch it on, like, if you have a station, a TV station or a, that has old TV shows on it. The show, and they would always begin it with Felix and Oscar, and there was a scene where they were doing the maypole, you know, going wrapping the ribbon around with the kids. It was so cute. And I, I don't know, that just came to my mind. Yeah, that show. So the movie was great, but the show was just fantastic. I loved it. So I'm putting in some layers. I'll try and let that dry and go back to it. It's kind of glazing, putting in lighter layers. I like working in a block if I do order some paper rather than loose paper, just at least for these demos because uh, it keeps it nice and flat and then I could detach it after. There's pros and cons to all different things, but a block of watercolor paper that you detach after. Something funny, a friend of mine gave another friend a watercolor block to, you know, she started painting and, and for you. For the longest time, and we were out painting one day, and she said, oh, yes, that board. I have that board you gave me to lean on when I paint. And we're like, no, it's not a board. It's a watercolor block. That's paper that you detach. It was, kind of, it was cute, not making fun of anyone. It was just kind of cute. So don't be afraid to ask a question. It's like me. I got Dropbox to make it a little easier to transfer videos, and I don't know if it's my internet connection here or everyone using the internet, but I just have such a hard time uploading images directly from my iPad directly to Dropbox. I have to download them to my computer and then share them so that I could get them on YouTube. And I just, I don't know if it's my internet connection, but I wish I could eliminate that step, but I have to do all those extra steps. I, I need to still use my um, AirDrop to my computer, my Apple computer, to transfer my images and then to share them. I know there must be a better way. I keep doing my research. I keep trying. Where that stem is. Come on, paper, dry. I think I'm going to let this dry a little bit and step away from it for just about five minutes. I want to put a few little touches on it, and the paper seems to be very wet. And you can see the I can't lift it because I don't want it to drip. So I'm going to let that dry just a bit. Have a little of my coffee, or heat up my coffee, because it's here and I haven't been drinking it. I've been a busy bee from my D&D Dunkin' Donuts cup. Going back, uh, this is a little drier, not totally dry, but I'm going to just touch up some of this and put a little more reds in. Maybe leave that in the garlic or pull it up. So here we go, there we are. Have a wonderful day. See you next time.